So let's try Ray in Texas, who has a definition for God. Hi, Ray. You're on with Tracy. Hey, Reggie. Going, Tracy. Hey, you doing okay? What's up? Uh, well, definition of God. I was kind of wondering if I am truly an atheist because I'm a, a deist and I have my own belief of God. Uh, if that qualifies as a definition of God. Man, if you're calling so it God, I, I, I'm going to say that for you, it's probably theism. I might not accept it as a God, but I can't tell you what you have to. I can't say you can't accept it as a God. I can only say I, whether or not I would. Uh, well, I disbelieve every religion on earth, and I do not put any credit in the supernatural abilities usually attributed to a God. So I consider myself an atheist simply because I don't believe in any religion that anybody's ever you know, put forth to me. But you're an atheist with a definition of God. Well, yeah, it, it, I think God is just more like a consciousness, like the original consciousness of the universe. I think... Uh, is there an original <clears throat> consciousness I of the universe? That, yeah, it, it's hard to explain my belief. Like but the I first think, thing that evolved consciousness? It like or proto consciousness yeah, I think, or I think I think that I think that life has a purpose in the universe. I don't think life is the purpose for the living things. I think the universe itself has a purpose for life in the universe. I think that everything in the universe has a purpose, and I think it would be silly to think that we would be the only things in the universe that don't have a purpose. Why so do you think, think why do you think, think anything has a purpose in this universe? I think that the universe would not exist without a conscious life form in it. Why? If, if nothing, because nothing could sense the universe. If wait a minute. Oh, okay, so wait there, a minute. So wait. So okay. So we're talking about here that there is a universe, and within the universe, some things are non-conscious and some things are conscious, right? And are you saying that if there were, if it were composed of purely non-conscious things, it wouldn't exist? Exist. Essentially, it would not okay. exist. If we're talking outside. about manifestation, uh, uh, like conscious manifestation, then you have a semantic point um, in that, yeah, we could kind of rule out that the word existence would have very little meaning, right? Because we use it as right. manifestation, which what, what are you manifesting to if not something that can, you know, perceive manifesting things? So from that perspective, I would say I believe I can accept your point. Um, I still think these things would have like tangible physical existence, although even the word tangible might become useless at a point you had no conscious minds. Um, the, the things would be there, but whether or not anything would perceive of them, obviously not if there was no consciousness, at least not in the way that we understand right. perception. Right. Something has to see. It, it's almost like the tree in the forest thing, only a lot uh, taken to an nth degree. Right. The, uh, the, the sound waves right. would go out, but nothing would pick them up. And so if you define sound as the waves, then it would make a sound. If you define right, right. sound as the That's perception, would... then no, it right. made no sound. Right, I think the answer to that question is just how you define sound. I agree. All right. The, uh, so this is how this is how I picture the universe. Then I, I think the universe is a is a kind of like a vague construct. It's almost like we're like like you would be a fish swimming in an ocean if we could perceive the entire universe. The the reason that we get the universe that we experience is simply because our senses limit us. To being able to experience a small part of the universe. I really think if we could sense everything. Right, we don't we have access to the entire universe. Rate. I think we're on board. Okay, and uh, so that's it. So I, I think the the I think like the original consciousness of God can literally sense everything in the universe, which actually does him no good. And I think he can sense the universe. Okay, now you've lost me. I understand there are things in the universe that are conscious, but where are you getting like a consciousness of God? Like what? Is, what is that? Where did that come from? The this, this same thing. Actually, I had that thought when I was a kid. Uh, the same thing that happens in our brain. You know, it, it seems that that the the action of small particles that each in themselves do tiny little things, but have no idea of the overall goal. 
it seems like that's where consciousness arrives. And, well, wait a minute. And, and, now, and now I'm really stuff. confused because I don't know what you mean by overall goal. Now, the idea that, yes, uh, conscious overall things... Goal, uh, uh, a cell in your body has no idea. Oh, maybe goal is a bad word, but the overall result. The cell in your body right, has doesn't no understand what it does. Right, it's, it's not self-aware. Person alive. Right. I, it's not self-aware, but I have no reason to think that something that is self-aware produced it. Uh, I don't know what you mean by self-aware. Well, because you, you, you sounded like what you were saying is that there was some sort of conscious being that, that created these things that, that aren't conscious that are doing what they do. And I might have misunderstood. Yeah, things just come about naturally through okay. chemical processes okay. in the universe. And, and these natural processes also develop a consciousness right. basically through movement of millions of small little particles, each doing their own little functions, unaware of the entire human body that they're... Okay, yeah, no, I, I follow. Okay, and I think the universe is the same way. I, I, okay, I, that's like where, now that's where, universe, that's where I have you know, trouble I think, following. I think... The, I, I, I can't follow I you there. The consciousness of God... I, wait, I'm not worried about what you think about it. I'm, I'm worried about why you think it. I'm sorry. I, I guess our, we're losing our connection a little bit, too. Yeah, uh, I guess I'm asking why you think this. Like, why do you think uh, the universe well, works it, it like a person my, and that the universe has consciousness of its own in some way? Because basically because it was it was just my initial concept in life when I was a kid. Right, and but, I heard but all you understand just because you think of believe. something doesn't make it true. Is that correct? I mean, I think of things all the time that aren't true. Right. But as science progresses is then I watch science and I see what's going on in the quantum universe and I see the theories of of the uh, of all the science I just see that nothing has ruled out any of these beliefs that I had when wait, wait a minute but, but ruling so something out ruling something out the, the question is how did you get to to accept it in the first place it, it's not like science has to rule science hasn't ruled out a lot of things that doesn't make no, them because true. I believe there's a, because I do believe because I do believe there's a God. That, right. That's science that's hasn't ruled out universe. Bigfoot, but that's not a reason to believe that there is one. Well, Bigfoot didn't, you know, come about as the entire universe either. You know. Well, so. we don't know that God came about as the entire universe either. I think it's very logical, though. I think it's very logical to think it, that at it one doesn't time really matter. That what no matters is whether it's true. Well, no, not to me. I guess I'm not. I didn't call up really to. I'm not trying to convince you that what I'm saying is true. I'm kind of calling up to see if if I can still be an atheist when I don't okay. believe in a religion. I don't have any religion. Yes, I, I think that I if you believe that there is a creator of the universe that is conscious and personal and that it, you know, produces all things, runs all things, I, I would say most people would, would hand you God, right? They would say that you can well, use that he label. Does produce all things. I don't think he produces all things and runs all things. Well, you said I he was like he the was consciousness created. of the universe. The consciousness. That's, he doesn't run anything. He's just aware of Well, you, you compared all these things the to like a body, right? And you said that they're all part of you and that you have this consciousness and all these things kind of do their thing and they're part of you, right? So God is a consciousness and the universe is God's body is kind of what you're describing. At least that's what I'm understanding. I guess kind of like that in, in a way. The, uh, I think God is different in different parts of the universe. It's not just a... It's not. That's a pretty simplistic view. What you said. I think if you go to a different part of the universe with different things and different matter making different motions, that you may find that, like in different parts of your brain, that God is a completely different in different parts of the universe. So it's a little simplistic what you said, but I guess essentially it's kind of like that. I think God is the universe, or at least this part of the universe. I would say that most people, if you said that the universe has a mind. Um, and a purpose and, you know, that mind kind of drives the per. I don't know. I would say most people would take that and say that you're not abusing the label God. Like, I, I think that would, that would sort of, you know, squishily fit into that definition. I would say I wouldn't call you an atheist. Oh, well, but, I, but God puts no 
puts no coffee, puts no demands on us. It doesn't God matter. Doesn't care if you're moral <laughs> it or really if you're doesn't moral matter. What you I mean, do you described it initially as being stuff. a deist, right? So you believe that the God created the universe and just let His hands off. No, no, no. He does not create the universe. The universe created God. I think God came about as the result of the movements of the universe. And I think God is a natural creation of the universe, and he doesn't have any influence on the universe except his consciousness allows it to exist. All right, so God keeps the universe going. No, God sees the universe going. He but his consciousness his allows it to exist. You didn't just say his consciousness, you know, observes it. You said it allows it to exist. I didn't mean if I said that I maybe I, I misspoke. I don't I don't remember That's okay. what I said that sentence too. No, I don't think he allows things to exist, but I think he came about from he naturally arose out of the universe. And I don't think he has any particular powers. I think I think life's purpose in the universe is simply to bear witness to the universe so that it can exist. I think it does have a purpose in the universe, just like everything seems to have a purpose in the universe. I don't, and when I say purpose, I don't mean the purpose why the universe is created. I mean a purpose as to the functions of the universe. You know, you wouldn't have a universe as we recognize it if planets didn't go around the sun. So planets, in my view, have a purpose in the universe. Yeah, stars purpose is a bad word to be using if that's not what you mean. I would find another way to describe but all that. But that. has a purpose in the universe. And I think life, too, has a purpose in the universe. I think there is something that... Right, but you're defining purpose as just stuff that stuff does. Like a rock rolling down a hill, you're saying, is a purpose. That the purpose of the rock is to roll down the hill, and I think that most people don't use the term purpose in that way. And okay, you're, okay, you might okay, want to find tool, another then. label because you're going to confuse a, people with that. Okay, it's it's a tool then. The rock is a tool of the universe. It's, it's just a rock rolling down a universe. hill. The rock rolls down a hill. It does what it does. Because of gravity. Right. And gravity exists in the universe. Right, but when you're talking about a tool, happens. though, you're going to give people the wrong impression, right? That goes right back to the problem okay. of okay. purpose. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, well, and gravity would be the tool, I guess. Would be the tool. <laughs> okay, I... Yeah, I'm not the label expert here. You guys are the label expert. All right. That's why. I, I just think that I some of the labels you're okay. using are anthropomorphic, and then when we start to dive into them, you start to back off the anthropomorphic meanings. And so I, that's the only thing I'm pointing out, is that if you're going to discuss these concepts oh. with people, you might want to kind of think about not giving them terms. Like a tool, for example, is something that something uses in order to affect right. a person. A, a purpose, right? Like I want to get this thing out of the jar. I use a can opener, um, and that's my tool well, that I'm if, using to get this to done. Do, what, if, what if you were a universe? What if you were a universe and you wanted to? The to universe doesn't want. See, th I guess that's what I'm saying. Is as far matter. as a universe, I have no reason to think it wants anything. I know, I know, I know, I know. I, I, I'm not saying it wants it. Uh, <laughs> but you, know, you are saying that. That's the very, problem. You have to be. I know. Well, you have to be very careful, I guess, when we speak to you. I'm not used to speaking to you, so just bear okay. with me. When, when the universe does something, uh -huh. when something happens in the when right. something happens in the universe. Oh, so I've kind of lost my train of thought now. When when something happens in the universe, it, it's because. It's the way the universe is designed right now. It's not because there's any purpose for the universe. It's the way the universe is designed right now. Things happen in the universe, like planets, suns explode and create planets. Sure, well, stuff happens. Life too, life too converts matter into other types of matter and releases energy in the process. And sure. I think if there is life throughout the universe, which is another one of my beliefs, I believe life literally reigns through the universe, at least in our part of it. And I think life is all over. And I think life's job is to convert matter into matter. That's, it's not a job as, as like there's a purpose that the universe has, but that's what life does. The, the universe evolved in a certain way, and we evolved with it. And, and what we do in our evolution, what our part is, is to just to convert matter and, and energy. That's what we do. Yes, we do I don't do think that. We have a great purpose morally in life i think we have a function that we do in the universe just like just like stars make metal yeah I, I think in the end if i was going to summarize this i would probably summarize it as things do things 
things do things. You're right. And I think people are one of the <laughs> things that do things where people we are. usually I agree. think that they're special somehow. They think that the whole universe was here for them, and I don't think so. I think we're just, we just do things. People do things. We do. And we things do, do things. Do things. And that's, that's all of it. And on that so note, that case, I, <laughs> you get to be our final caller I think for the night. An atheistic view. Well, we have a uh, another show that I'm I've already cut into by about six minutes, so I need to thank oh. the cast, the crew, the audience, like everybody, Reggie, for coming on. 